we have a very important message. Estonia supports all means Ukraine. Military, humanitarian way, and not all other means. We bring to Estonia a lot of uh, Ukrainian refugees. We have already more than 20,000 in Estonia. Young people, ladies, mothers, grandmothers. And we help them from our heart. What do you think about Estonia to the North no flight zone. Est 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 Estonian Parliament declared very clearly and looking for the support for the implementing flight zone, no flight zone. What do you think about the drones entering NATO territory? Where's your red line to trigger Article 5? I believe at first they have to investigate from where these drones came. Because uh, we, we, we can't just make decisions uh, by first information. And if it's declared from where the planes came, of course we have to decide. So you said you support a no-fly zone. Are you afraid that NATO could be dragged into this conflict? Of course, uh, there are different opinions. At first, all these states which can control no-fly zone, they have to act. For example, Estonia haven't this kind of, this kind of capabilities to control. But we have to find consensus on that question. You, when you, you said you, you support all military means. You said you are also in favor of no flight, flight zone. Yes, we, 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 we were the first countries who sent uh, little aid before war to Ukraine. And we sent a lot of uh, military aid to Ukraine. Because Ukraine is today our front line to, to protect our democratic values. And uh, this is the quite, let's say, main value. But do you think the other allies are too cautious or should NATO change the attitude to this conflict now? It's one thing is NATO, but let's, uh, let's, let's talk about uh, states. And so many states have these kind of capabilities and we have to talk with the single states also. What do you think about the peacekeeping or peace mission in Ukraine with soldiers on the ground? This is one of the possibilities. And, and of course, we have to look to the all possibilities which can help Ukraine. Could, could you elaborate, elaborate a little bit how this should work? How, how, how do you get into Ukraine if, if you wanted to do a peacekeeping mission like the Polish suggested? Of course, it should be in the, in the Security Council decided, and the Security Council can decide that, that and to send peacekeeping mission. And uh, all these decisions have to go through Security Council. Mr. Zelensky said that if not future membership, uh, in this case, uh, NATO should give security guarantees to Ukraine. Once more. Mainly insects. Uh, den ukrainske befolkning gennemgår lidelser, som uh, er helt forfærdelige. Uh, og det må stoppe, uh, og det er vigtigt, at uh, Putin ikke vinder det her. Og derfor er jeg glad for, at vi i dag er samlet. Igen. As I said, we, we have to find all the ways to protect uh, Ukraine. And if it's new or old, but, but we, we have to every single day and night to think about that. So membership on this stage is impossible to... I understood, like, like uh, President Zelensky said, that uh, they are not, let's say hoping on that stage to reach the membership. Probably he's uh, right. Sorry? There are some risks, of course. Of course there are. But uh, what will happen in, uh, in reality next days, uh, nobody knows probably. Maybe, maybe Putin only. You said that Are you going to listen to the Defense Minister of Ukraine, Georgia, uh, Sweden, and uh, uh, the Special Representative of Ukraine? What's your um, message toward the countries which are not uh, NATO members but are the, again the threats faced to Russia? Unity. Only one strong world, unity. Because, uh, because the, I believe the biggest surprise for Putin was that the uh, West is so united. He didn't believe that. 
he had a wrong picture about uh, relations between the Western countries. Are you ready? Are you ready to when it comes to soldiers on the ground or shooting Russian airplanes? How are you going to convince your colleagues that there should be a no-fly zone? Yeah. We 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 saw during these three weeks how quickly decisions or uh, positions are changed. In the morning time, there is a one position. Lunch time, it's already a little bit different. And the evening time, totally other side, we can see. And that means that we never know how quickly we'll change the old position that uh, we can't support right now, no flash on, but maybe on the evening already it's different. I don't believe that. Are you ready to send Estonian soldiers to Ukraine? We sent our soldiers to the Lithuanian border last last summer. We sent first firstly our soldiers also to the Poland Belarusian border. We have already four rotations in the Poland Belarusian border. And of course, of course, if it it will be possible to do, we will send. Sorry? Who do you make Russia ask China for military aid? China have to choose on which, where he, China will be, on the western part or eastern part. In the beginning you said all military means as well. Yeah. So what, what are you thinking of perhaps except no fly zone? So what things could be done that are not that controversial, that are not done yet? Now every state have to look uh, what kind of possibilities uh, they have. Estonia looked our own capabilities, possibilities, and uh, we sent more than uh, 220 million amount of uh, money, our resources to, to Ukraine. And, and probably last delivery was uh, just yesterday. And, uh, and again, every state have to look. To, to the resources, what kind of possibilities they have. What do you think should change that NATO changes its behavior in its wars? Meaning, for example, chemical weapons? Of course, uh, it's a question of the risk level. When and how something will change. And if there are risks so high that, uh, that uh, Russia will use chemical weapon or biological weapon, direction also to the NATO countries. Of course, NATO have to decide next steps. Do you think Putin wants to escalate the war also? In, now, now we are going very far ahead. Mm. Uh, but to escalate the war, or do you think he's afraid of that? NATO getting involved? I believe that uh, he, is, uh, he didn't achieve his goals in Ukraine. And he have to build up bigger problem. That, that means that, uh, that uh, he has to go further. Into the Baltics? Into the Baltics or the, or the other side. We never know. Are you afraid of a nuclear war? We can't be afraid. We have to stay calm because uh, Putin would like to be, see that everybody is afraid. No, we are not afraid. Thank you. Bye.